quite summer like I won't say that quite yet, but we are certainly getting toward 80 degrees even at lunchtime, so we'll probably be in the lower 80s not only today, but really through this entire week. We're saying goodbye to those 60s and 70s that we saw for highs the past several days. We do have the chance for a little bit of spotty rain this afternoon. Not everyone will see it, and then we have a couple of rounds of rain, one coming in Wednesday night into early Thursday and another late Friday and into Saturday and even Outside of those time frames, we may have a little bit of spotty rain in the afternoons the next couple of days. Current temperatures almost at 80, not quite there at noon. Our winds picking up a little bit from the southeast up to about uh, 12 or 15 miles per hour for some spots and gusting in the yellow numbers up to about 20 or so miles per hour. And our time lapse, I love it on days like this where there's actually cloud cover. There is the shower you saw a second ago passing over and now we have blue skies mixed with some cumulus clouds and we may have a little bit of rain, but right now our radar is just not really showing anything. We did have that small shower right over the city and a little bit more farther south in various locations, but very just small showers and it was fast. So we're looking drier now and here we have our radar showing a little bit more moisture, but not all of that necessarily uh, coming down as rain. We will have a chance for a little bit of that later today, though, as the high pressure stays to our east and you can see just a little bit of an unsettled look around here. This is a small upper disturbance that combined with the moisture may bring a couple of showers. So today we'll say highs about 81 warmer than we have been for sure. And a couple of showers or storms possible this afternoon, but just not a whole lot. So don't want to oversell that part of the forecast. Some, some of us may just have one of these sort of spring like sort of getting more humid and more warm sort of afternoons. Here's our forecast by 4 p.m. Tiny bit of rain here and there. And then this is by 8 p.m. Our temperatures near 70 by then. And tonight looks mostly quiet. This is where we start tomorrow. Not as chilly. We won't have any 50s north of the lake like we did this morning, I think. And there could be a bit of patchy fog early tomorrow during the day. We're just not really seeing a huge chance for showers and storms, although maybe a stray shower will be possible. Here is the setup that we've been watching. This is very late Thursday to early or excuse me, late Wednesday to early Thursday. I've paused it here Thursday before sunrise. We get a batch of some showers moving in and then later in the day too, we might have a chance for just a couple more scattered showers. When you're talking about how much rain, this is our forecast through the Thursday time frame, maybe about a half inch to an inch. But now let's add what we're going to see Friday and Saturday. And you can see we may have some pretty decent amounts going all the way to Saturday night, maybe two to three plus inches of rain. And now this is the Euro model. I'm showing you the same thing. This is the amount first just through Thursday. And now we'll tack on Friday and Saturday and our Euro model is going a little higher. So not all of this is coming at once, as you saw, but uh, it does look like we might get a little bit of heavier rain, perhaps with the Friday into Saturday setup. And although the severe threat is not very high, we may have a stray storm here or there that brings a high wind gust. I know you're noticing the pollen. It is certainly out there, especially trees and grass today. This is the count that came in just a few minutes ago. I updated this with our latest um, count that came in. Oak and maple are the main pollen for today. So springtime in New Orleans, you know, you're going to be dealing with a little bit of that at least. Our seven day forecast is showing the rain chance tomorrow kind of limited to only a few showers in the afternoon, but tomorrow night into Thursday is that first wave of rain and then the front, this little surface front, not very strong, clearly not going to cool us down a lot, but it will be moving in late Friday and especially early Saturday. So the rain may be tapering off Saturday somewhere around lunchtime or afternoon, leaving us drier for Saturday evening and into Sunday. So we'll track that. We'll keep you updated on the timing as we get closer.